are Hawaii season's trading places. Good evening. I'm Paula Akana. Thanks to El Nino, the so-called dry season wasn't very dry. So what does that mean for our wet season? Our Lake Oholokula has the full story. Storm after storm delivered rainy day after rainy day this year in Hawaii, all during our dry season. But the tables are about to turn. The conditions are expected to change, so, so that's what makes this very interesting. And with El Nino uh, in place and, and, and strong, one of the expectations is that even though we've been very wet, coming this winter, especially December through April, conditions will be very dry. Strong El Nino seasons typically occur every 15 years or so and make a big difference. Especially here in the Pacific, we see big changes in, in the weather, weather pattern. Places that are normally dry become wet, and places that are wet become dry. And when experts forecast a dry season, it's no joke. We're pretty confident that we're going to be seeing drought start to creep in and, and develop over, over the next several months. The shortages could start kicking in by the end of this year. Once January and February roll around, then you know, the, the problem will start spreading and become worse and worse. Even though it's nice and green now, the anticipated drought could make areas more susceptible to fires. Normally that's something you expect in the summer months, but then even by uh, spring of 2016, uh, because of the dryness, you know, there, there could be uh, more favorable conditions for, for brush fires. Fewer heavy rain events are expected for this wet season, but frontal systems could produce showers and the possibility for strong winds. Because the changes are drastic, experts are urging people to remain alert. Lake Holokula, KITV4 News.